the challenge. In assigned groups, explore Houston for art. We must provide video evidence of our travels for a grade. So, with very little pressure, we take to the streets of East Downtown Houston, where we seek out art spaces, scan bricks for public art, sample beers, interact with locals, and log hashtags and Instagram accounts. What we find is an eyeful. This is Edo. East Downtown Houston, commonly referred to as Edo, is a neighborhood changing before our eyes. This used to be an area with a heavy manufacturing scene that experienced an influx of immigration from East Asia and different Hispanic countries in the early 20th century. Edo's population is still ethnically diverse, but now the area hosts some of Houston's most stark examples of gentrification. The neighborhood that used to be businesses, homes for local families, and the city's old Chinatown is now turning into tall townhomes and condos. With the 2012 construction of the BBVA Compass Stadium came a rise in property value and more young professionals looking for spaces to work and live. Throughout its change, one thing has remained important. It's art culture. While Edo is known for their street art, we didn't want to pass up the opportunity to explore some of the galleries in the area. First, let's go to Box 13. Box 13 is located at the intersection of South Cesar Chavez Boulevard in Harrisburg. It's an artist-run nonprofit that's all about creating space for up-and-coming artists to create, and they facilitate conversations about the current societal effects on contemporary art. They have four indoor spaces, a window gallery, and an outdoor yard for installations, but we didn't get to see any of it. We got lost trying to get inside, and then we were told that the exhibition closed the week before. So yeah, that didn't work out, but here's a shot of a metal sculpture in their parking lot from when we were walking away out of embarrassment. Looking for redemption, we caravan down to the Harrisburg Art Museum. Out of our traditional idea of a museum being a building that required entrance, we once again got confused. But hey, we are here to make the mistakes for you. We walked into the one open garage door, and while I don't think it was the intended attraction, it was an intriguing sight. There were spray paint bottles hanging from the ceiling and a collection of colorful aerosol work on the walls. When going to the Harrisburg Art Museum, you need not look any further than the vibrant murals on the outside of the garage doors. Different local artists are assigned to each door, so you'll be able to see a range of ideas right next to each other. And this space even hosts graffiti battles that calls artists to express themselves. While I was walking around, I came upon this colorful mural advertising Edo Big Boy Toy Rentals that is there for all your rental needs, from scooters to RVs. While I was filming the mural, I ran into a young entrepreneur. He's a graduate from the University of Houston's Bauer College of Business. He was really cool and his name was either Joe or George, sorry dude. I helped him close up and he let me inside the barbershop he's working on. It's at the intersection of Hutchins and Clay. He said it's gonna be called Faded and that it'd be all right for me to include these shots. Before exploring more art, we took a break to get a bite to eat. Here's Truckyard, a bar that features a vintage Ferris wheel in the back and often has live music. But we chose to go right across the street to 8th Wonder Brewery to get some Saturday morning beers. Paying homage to Houston's old Astrodome, which was commonly referred to as the Eighth Wonder of the World, this brewery was started in 2013. Now including a distillery, we enjoyed our time at the tap room. With a variety of options and even some non-alcoholic drinks, Eighth Wonder provides a kid-friendly setting to enjoy watching a game, kick back with your loved ones, and provides art to both observe and interact with. In the outdoor backdrop to your conversation, you'll find 36-foot tall statues of the Beatles created by David Attucks and a military tank. We participated in the interactive art by arranging these multicolored blocks as a tribute to the Astros who were about to enter the World Series. Oh, did I mention that the Astros were playing down the street at Minute Maid the weekend we decided to film and Ido was crawling with admirers? 
We enjoyed a burger from one of the food trucks in their backyard when a man behind us offered us some ham. His name was Jesse and he wanted to share his time with us. This is William cutting in with an underground minute. Another part of the draw of Edo is music. Houston has long had a diverse and often thriving local music scene. Edo has contributed to this tradition. Now this may look like a haunted candy factory, but it may shock you to learn that Houston musicians from all over the area come here to rehearse their next big hit. Francisco Studios has dozens of private soundproof rooms for musicians to practice at full strength. All styles of music have been born and raised in this old warehouse for over 30 years. Fans who are ready for an audience can submit their demo to over seven live music venues within a square mile. Edo's old buildings and warehouse spaces make great conversions into small and mid-sized venues for local and touring artists to perform. While exploring, I found a common theme in some of the street art, that being love for Houston. The city has a lot to be proud of. Houston is the most diverse city in the whole country, and their Astros won the World Series recently, which was right after the city's resilience was seen by the world when Hurricane Harvey left locals displaced or having to do major home reconstruction in 2017. All of these factors have fueled a long-standing pride in Houstonians, and this is seen in the art. Behind Eighth Wonder is a sculpture that reads, We Love Houston. The sides of the letters are different colors, but the face of each character is white. To compare the sizing, here's a family that I had taken a photo for, the base of the letters reaching above their tallest member. I drove down to the corner of St. Emmanuel and Commerce Street to see the hashtag Team Houston mural that was done with spray paint. It's difficult to capture the entirety of this piece as it stretches along the whole backside of this warehouse, but its large letters are a must-see. Well, it's behind a fence now, but you can still see it. While going to the next spot, there was an absurd amount of traffic since the Astros were playing down the street, so accompanied by slight frustration, I took to feet and explored. Here's another Houston tribute piece. It's at 1503 Chartres Street, and it was done with aerosol by well-known local artist Mario E. Figueroa, also known as Gonzo 247. Behind the block letters reading Houston are a series of vertical and diagonal lines that create the look of skyscrapers. These lines give the piece a more dynamic feel with the diagonal outward moving lines that point us to the organic lines of the rest of the mural. Within the organic lines are a series of stars and other designs. This piece is thorough and full of detail. Turning to your right is a scene unlike any other in the city. It's known as the Houston Graffiti Building, and most times that you go, you'll likely find people using the murals as backdrops for their Instagrams because this place is covered in art. As I was filming the center of murals, there was a van that drove up, loudly playing Beyonce. One of the women saw me filming and she started dancing in front of the tribute wall to the UGK, the Underground Kings, and it was painted by Lee Washington and Cease MZK. The left and right halves may not be symmetrical. The left has different tones of purple. In the center are Big Mo and Pimp C, where the right half has gray and red tones. But both halves feature slabs. Slabs are low-riding cars with protruding rims that play a prominent role in Houston culture and are perfectly featured in this Murals here embrace the cultures represented in Houston, including this beautiful portrait done by an artist known as Empire. It's of Selena Quintanilla. She's a vocalist who was and still is integral to Tejano music, and in this piece she's surrounded by roses. And one could even assume this is in tribute to her song Como La Flor, which was released in 1992. These murals make the art in Edo accessible. Whether you're driving past it on the freeway or up close examining each Instagram handle left by the artists.
Also in this area are the bold three-dimensional formed letters. Communicative line is present and brings the viewer's eyes downwards over each letter. The powerful contrast of light and dark colors help the letters black love to pop. Under that mural is this piece dedicated to Houston Dreamers, a piece by Pink Lomain. The subject in this mural has sections of different color in her hair, separated by organic lines flowing throughout the length of her hair. Right by this is the interactive hashtag HTX Wings piece. It's a landscape view with a peaceful cloudy sky with a silhouette of Houston's skyline. It's done with aerosol by hashtag Lee the One Lee and is commonly used as a backdrop for people's Instagram photos, such as our group members did. A prominent group in Edo's art culture is known as Aerosol Warfare. They've been supporting the graffiti scene for over 25 years. What started with a quarterly video magazine in the 1990s grew into collaborations on art projects with other like-minded artists. Aerosol Warfare is defined by years of supporting, promoting, and exhibiting graffiti and street art nationally. They've showcased and supported over hundreds of local and national artists. Some of the national artists they've worked to bring to Texas include Mark Bow, Futura, Ram LZ, Scene, Shepard Ferry, and Cope 2. Led by Gonzo247, Aerosol Warfare continues on a mission of creating, sharing, and showcasing the graffiti and street art forms. with a young entrepreneur, watching friends laugh during a photo shoot with loud music, and taking photos for a young family, I found it the reminder I needed after getting annoyed with the heavy traffic. Edo is a place for vibrancy, for life, a place for bright colors and murals reflecting Houston's beautiful, diverse culture. Edo is where we can create and congregate, a place of accessible art and innovation of young people. So I remembered. In order to enjoy all of the wonderful aspects of living in a vibrant, passionate city, you sometimes gotta deal with the traffic.